um, to my humble abode. And this garden is almost like an oasis. It's got this amazing apple tree that creates this lovely shade. It's like a canopy tree, but it's not only produces apples year in, year out. But it's also got this amazing screen and a shadow. We can sit underneath it and enjoy the marvel of this creation. It was planted by my dad years ago. And the apples are far too many for me to use on my own. So I'm going to actually have a harvest today and distribute it to my friends. And what my friends make with it is so amazing. And I make quite a few different things too. So apple crisp, apple cider, apple sauce, apple butter, apple chips, apple dumplings, apple fritter, apple pie, apple caramel, apple cobbler, apple strudel, apple turnover, and tartar tan. The list is endless because the possibilities are endless. So let the hard work begin. Today I'm going to show you how to make mojito. I'm so excited because it's a very simple and easy drink to make. Just add five ingredients, mint, lime juice, and soda water, rum, and cane sugar. We can substitute apple juice instead of water and sugar, and instead of lime, we're going to be using some lemons. But the basic flavors of lemon juice is not much different to lime, so we're going to use lemon juice today. Without further ado, let's start. So first, because these apples are organic apples, they have to be first thoroughly washed, of course. I haven't even mastered it. These are just what fell from this actual tree that's above you and I am so excited to be able to use it and because they are organic apples we may find a one or two uninvited guests in there. First I'm going to wash it thoroughly like so. I've got a brandy sponge, a scara I shall wash it because when I juice these apples I'm going to put them directly into my juicer skin and all so I want to make sure that the skin is lovely and clean and then I've just done two and then I'm going to cut it. I have a board and knife there. I'm going to cut it and make sure that there's nothing inside the apples. And once I've made sure that is all fine, then it goes directly into the juicer. So I've done three and I've only got another 300 to go. But just because we have so many apples, it doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to make gallons and gallons of juice. And mind you, this apple tree has got at least about 500 fruit at the moment on the tree. And I've harvested about 500 fruit and I have actually given it to my friends and they juice it. They make so many different things with the apple, apples that I give them. And, and now I'm going to make some juice and because I'm going to be getting rid of all the bad bits, we're going to end up with pretty much, when I start with this number of apples, I'm going to end up with actually probably about half of it and the rest goes in the bin or for fertilizers and then we start juicing it. It's lovely to be able to use fruit that's come from a tree which hasn't had any artificial fertilizers or any pesticides but to be able to use the fruit it has to go through this process that you've just seen me do but it's going to be worth it so this is how I'm juicing it up this lemon so I'm about to assemble the mojito just getting a couple of slices here to make our glasses look pretty and then I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice into the apple juice now look at it how beautiful and vibrant and pink it is because it comes from these lovely pink apples so I'm going to pour it here like so and here, 
into this glass. And then I'm going to squeeze some lemon into it, half a lemon into each. Squeeze a bit like so. Now that's a slightly larger glass, I might put a tiny bit more lemon in there. And then we need to brew some mint. So I'm going to pick up the mint leaves. Oh, there's a bee there. And just bruise it with my mind. There, flavor. And a bit more. And I might use a little bit for blanching as well. Just garnish like so. You can do whatever you like with it really to make it pretty. And then bruise a bit more mint. Put in there. Ice cubes going in. It's a very warm day today. So some ice cubes like so. Here we go, that should do it. Like so. And then I'm just going to stir it and check that the sugar level is good. Super sweet. These apples are super sweet. And it, what you can't actually experience is the smell in here. The lemon the apple juice, the mint. So the mojito would have had white rum. Make do with what I have. I'm using some dark rum. Popping it in that one. Trust me, I do need all that rum to get through all these apples. For you, Rosie. Try it and tell me what you think. Cheers. Mm. Now we're going to cut some of these apples and make our apple crumble. See you shortly. So here I have two pans of apples. All I've done is cut it to a, about that size, but it doesn't matter what size I cut it to because here I put cinnamon, no sugar added, but it's very sweet. Here I haven't added anything. I'm just literally trying to reduce it to a consistency of jam. Even after the juice has evaporated, all the nutrients, the fiber, all the vitamins, the condensed juice, the condensed apple is still going to be within the pans. So we're not really losing anything. See you shortly. So with our huge quantity of apples, you saw me cook some apples down here in two pans. And very soon I'm going to show you what's in the pan or how it's reduced down to. So typically if you're using six apples, you'll be using 150 grams of flour, 100 grams of sugar and 100 grams of butter. But here I've doubled the quantity because I have not six apples but about 15 apples in each pan. So come and have a look at what's here. So I've got two pans. One of them has got cinnamon which is this one so you can see the color is darker and this one is just plain apples. So here I'm adding a little bit of strawberry jam. It's not going to change any flavor of the apple because they're both fruit that are tart. The reason for doing this I'm going to just use up any of your strawberry jams that you have left over in your bottles. You know, you get to the last bit and you don't use it. Now, this one is strawberry and pomegranate. I love this jam, but I'm just going to add this to this. Because if you made apple pies or apple crumble at home, you can't keep it for longer than three days. But by adding these jams, jams naturally has its pectin, coming from its natural fruit which will set the apple crumbler. And also what it does is the gentle preservatives that they would have used in jam will work in our apple crumble. And that way it will keep in the fridge for longer. There, there were some preservatives, which is going to come in handy for our apple crumble. I'm going to use the same pans to go in the oven just to save up on washing up and save up on using different I'm going to use the same pan. So let's do our crumble. I have my trusted food processor. I'm going to use half the flour and using dark brown sugar and light brown sugar, which is 200 grams because I double the quantities. So that's going in there. Sugar, and I'm going to add half the flour. 
and then that's about half. To this, I'm going to add the butter. Um, so 200 grams of butter only because I am using double the quantity. But if it was six apples and 150 grams of uh, flour, it's 100 grams of butter and 100 grams of sugar. So I'm using half of it, and then we're ready to whisk. So here's a crumble coming out of here. I'm going to do one more thing. Apple and toffee are best friends, as you know, you've seen toffee apples and apple and toffee caramel lattes. Apple and toffee are best friends. So what I have here, I bought it as it is, it's caramel, carnation caramel, which comes in a jar like this. So it's condensed milk with caramel. This one's got cinnamon, so I'm not going to add any more flavors to it, but I'm going to add it to the other one. Hold it in if it goes on top. So now for the crumble topping, just sprinkle this over. Mmm. Looks absolutely delicious. Flatten that with me. And if you find there were particles like this, because butter has stayed in one place, just take it, pick it up with your hand, and just crumble it. Alexa, 30 minute timer. 30 minutes, starting now. See you back in 30 minutes. So here's our apple crumble out of the oven. It looks amazing and it smells amazing. So before it gets cold, I'm going to just sprinkle a pinch of nutmeg on top of it. It gives it a wholesome, like a scrumptious, wholesome flavor, nutmeg does. So I'm just going to sprinkle it evenly on the top like so. And then cinnamon went in one of them. So I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit of cinnamon like so. Nutmeg and cinnamon are great friends, like to put them in Christmas cakes as well. And then my mouth is watering. I'm just going to go in like that and grab a decent portion of it. Mmm, this is the one with the toffee, I can see it. And into my big cup. And Rosie and I are going to try it, so I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to take a portion of this one as well. At the moment, I don't know which is which. Actually, I think this is the one with the toffee, because I can see the toffee. Gooey and melty. Mm. There. This is optional. You can drizzle a bit of double cream if you like. Usually people would have it with ice cream. And I'm just going to triple a little bit of double cream into both. And now time for a taste test. Rosie, here's yours. Mm. Let's try. Apple is still very warm and the cold cream is lovely and cooling and then the crumble is really crunchy. I can still crunch the sugar in it. Mm. Delicious. And I would really suggest that you make some as well. If you have a huge apple tree 
and you get so many apples or your friends have apples don't throw them away you can juice them you can make so many different things with apple thank you for watching and bye bye